I chose the actuarial profession because it was really the only one that I saw out there that had a really good combination of practical mathematics where you could combine the business interest that I had with, with the math that I enjoyed doing so much. And the combination of the two had a, had a lot of intrigue for me. The overall exposure you get to so many different areas by going through those exams, you not only get a lot of obvious mathematical uh, you know, background, but you get exposed to the legal portion of it, the marketing portion of it, uh, investments, just a lot of different areas that you become familiar with, maybe not in the same level of detail that people that are majoring or taking that specifically, but you understand and you, you begin to get a much better appreciation of it. It's not something you typically would think of, you know, from an actual standpoint, but it really does give you a very good, broad background. I have specialized throughout most of my career in what today is called managed healthcare. Early on in my career, I was trying to understand how healthcare actually works. And it became very obvious to me uh, that there is a lot of problems within the healthcare system. And I thought that, okay, an actuary is a problem solver, so why don't I try to solve that problem? And that led me down a path which was probably the most profound in my career where I got to work with doctors and nurses to actually get inside the healthcare system and learn how to make the healthcare system work more effectively. When I first got to Blue Cross of California in uh, 1987, Blue Cross of California was the poorest performing uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield plan across the nation and Blue Cross of California became WellPoint. So it's an amazing success story. And uh, the new CEO at the time, Leonard Schaefer, looked at this company and uh, realized how broken it was. He knew enough about actuaries to know that it was going to take um, the right actuary to fix it. And uh, I was asked to be the chief actuary of Blue Cross of California back in 1987. And uh, we put in pricing changes, rating changes, changes to reserves. Um, Made, made a lot of changes and uh, it did result in a turnaround to the company. I actually really like my experiences working in Europe. That was a very profound moment in my career because it really showed that I could connect with people whose not only their understanding of actual science was different but their culture was different and it really was a good learning experience in terms of really learning how to relate to people differently and really learning how to adjust my style in a way that would best meet their style to be able to, to get done what I needed to get done. It was about five years ago, I was sitting in a meeting where a very well-known personality was looking to acquire an insurance company. And he asked a question that was essentially an actuarial question. And I was the actual advisor, and then he had looked at a distressed insurance company. And basically, he was looking to acquire stock in the company, but wanted to have certain questions answered. So I'm sitting in this boardroom, this is in New York, uh, a very well-known personality, and he's asking this question. And he's clearly addressing the question at me across the table. Kind of looking at me like you are looking at me now. However, there are 20 other advisors in the room, lawyers, accountants, marketing, distribution, all sorts of people. I'm the only actuary in the room. So he asked me the question, and it's really an actuarial question, and all these people start talking. And I'm just looking at him and smiling, and we're just waiting. And finally he goes, would everybody just shut up and let the actuary talk? And everybody shut up, and I gave him the answer, and that's what he wanted. So I was the only one who could answer it in this case. Thank you.